Haga, well mapped, mapped, oh, let's play Rift. So we're getting off to philosophy now. I want to talk to you, Danny, about a game that recently came out. <laughs> what? Why no more philosophy, though? Because I want to discuss this. People exist. A religion is correct. No, a religion is not correct. I think religion is probably one of the worst things ever. I said a religion. And I said religion is that stupid. It's, it creates it's, chaos. It's, it's it creates it's, conflict. It creates wars. Religion does nothing good. You know, atheism technically counts as religion. I don't even. I'm not even an atheist, Danny. They believe in not believing. I just, I don't believe in anything. I just, I don't believe in not believing either. Are you a theist? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> My philosophy is, I'm me, and I'm doing what the fuck ever I want. So there you go. But yeah. anyway, so, this MMO. What about Black Desert? Danny, you've ruined my intro! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Completely! <laughs> yeah. So, some of you may have heard recently in news that a new MMO came out. It's a quite different MMO experience from what's around on the market. Where the fuck are we going? I'm getting towards this quest. No! Why? I need to kill more things over here! Okay. No, I don't. I lied. I'm sorry. This is a good place to be going. So, as yeah, so an MMO command is quite quite different from anything that's out on the market, really, I think. Wouldn't you agree, Danny? Pretty much, yeah. It's a sandbox MMO, is what a lot of people are describing it as. You're in a raid. I've heard there are dungeons, but they're open world. I got a quest. How the hell does that work? Well... So you know how dungeons are instanced, right, in, in WoW and Rift, right? So you have to go through a loading <laughs> screen to get into the dungeon. Uh, yep. What are you laughing that, at? That doesn't happen. Yeah, there's no loading screen. You just walk in and you know... No loading screen. Yeah. You just, you just, like... Okay, a so you know the Scarlet... thinks about getting popped up and then you go, no. So you've got, you, let's just take the example of the Scarlet Monastery, okay? So the Scarlet Monastery is out in the world, right? You can, yep. you walk up to it, and you go through the portal to get to the section of it. But, so, if this was Black Desert, you'd go up to it, and what, where the portal would be, you'd walk through a door, and you'd just start the dungeon like that. And, obviously, because there are no classes in Black Desert, in terms of, like, healer tank, everyone's just everything, and you look after yourself. Yep. It makes it interesting. And I quite like that. That's a nice feature. But anyway, so... BD, as it will now be referred to, is sandbox. It's basically a do what you want game. It's not not really an end goal, like because you know WoW's end goal is to get max gear, you know, be the best raider. But Black Desert has no raids, obviously. It's just I know it's, I really like the concept. I like the map. The scene. It is one of the best looking MMOs I've seen as well. Like the graphics in it are gorgeous. I mean. I, Obviously, I don't think you'll have seen the better graphics because you've been very... From what I've seen you playing, you seem to be very stuck in your WoW ways. Like, oh, you know, I can't go out exploring. I must do this quest and I must go and do that quest. And... Which is really hard because there are so many quests. But I feel like you're definitely stuck in that round rut with the game. Like, you don't... I know, that's why I see it. It's like, oh, you, or you do the quest because you just want to <laughs> get there. Spider just killed the tracker. <laughs> like, you're not, do you're not doing the, the meta stuff, you know, like the workers and the node management and farming and all the stuff that, like, is, goes along with just leveling up. Whereas I, I just sort of climb up mountains just to look at the pretty scenery. <laughs> like, if you could see my map exploration right now, all along the coast, you know, you've got Olivia. Yep. Well, all the coasts outside of Olivia, all the way down to the edge of the map, has been explored by me. Because I just went along the coastline, and I found this really beautiful town. It's like this coastal town, and there's this like, like stony archways, and like there's this lighthouse, and it's. I was just blown away by it. 
Like, I hadn't seen anything so beautiful in a game in such a long time. And then you saw those screenshots I found in that, like, town that's, like, bridging two mountains as well. That's, yeah. like, beautiful. That, I haven't been there yet, but that also looks fucking amazing. Like, the, the town is just sort of, like, overlooking the entire valley. And it's, like, bridging two mountains. Like, I thought that was amazing from what I've seen from a distance. But it's so Indeed. big. It, like... To get from one place to another in WoW, it takes you maximum five minutes, especially with the amount of teleporting you can do. Like, if you fly f- uh, from uh, what is it from Booty Bay to um, what's the island called in the top? Qualify. So you can't fly there though, because one, you have to go for a loading screen. Two, you can't fly from. Um, Ever song I don't know, but you used to be able to, and like before they implemented the uh, Iron Forge teleport, uh, it took you uh, twelve minutes. It takes me. Don't go up there. No, come back. We're gonna go up there later because that looks like it's leading to an area. I want to finish this area first. That's how long it takes to get from fucking Valia to Olivia. <laughs> on, like yeah, pretty much. Even by, I go on foot most days because I'm too scared to use my mouth. But I mean, I don't know what it's like. By yeah, donkey. but even on the donkey, it takes like uh, uh, seven or eight minutes or so. Because the, the game is just so big, like it's it's almost like, like real... on the map, it looks like they're right next to each other, but that's still fucking five minutes at least. It's it's like it's done to a real world scale almost. Yeah, like speed wise, yeah. It is such a big map, and it's of so. Of course, gorgeous. it's scaled down, but like everything else is scaled down as well. So, I mean, we haven't even touched. I haven't touched the boat content. I don't know about you. I mean, have you I've gone out? Barely done anything. I've been to Heidel. Yeah, I, I I sort of hit I, Heidel I've been just and was below... like. I've been I've been just below the river by Heidel. That's the furthest I've gotten so far. You got killed down by that, didn't you? Yeah. So I've been a bit further than you. I've, I you know the you know you got the river and then you can see those mountains in the distance by Heidel. Yeah. Uh, I went yeah. up though into those mountains because I wanted to explore, and I did it. And then I sort of fell off into like this max level area, and I was like, oh shit. But there was this really cool looking temple there, and I hit a couple of nodes running back, so I've explored down there, and then obviously I just said I went like, along the coast. But what I've learned about the game is there are actually um, some invisible walls, because not the entire map isn't actually released yet. So, I was looking, because I hit invisible walls, I was like, oh, I didn't expect this. So I started looking around on the internet, and the Korean servers are actually four, like... Um, patches ahead of us, so hmm. they've got like access to a lot more of the map than we have. Because I was going on the map and I was like, "But I can see a town across this invisible wall. I can see structures." And I was like, "I bet they haven't released it because they haven't done the translation." <laughs> and I bet that because I just right. So I'm thinking, what they do with Black Dead is they've got the map right. The map's been d- designed for them. The map, all the classes are designed, the mechanics are designed, because they're just going off the Korean servers, right? So, you can see all the stuff that's there, but you can't access it. But, I bet yeah. the translations take some, because you've seen how much text, and like, there's a shit ton of voice acting as well. Yeah. And I read that there was over 10,000 quests on, like, the NA, just on, like, the release we've got, not even the Korean stuff. So, can you imagine translating 10,000 quests into, like, um... English text with all the voice lines because every NPC you talk to that has a quest has like voice lines to go with it. Like yeah. if you just sit and listen, you talk to an NPC and he just has a little chat about random shit, and then all the cut scenes and like, I bet it takes so many hours for like all the act, all the voice acting and all that to be done. Probably, most and I reckon definitely, actually. If there was no voice acting in the game and they just had to translate text, I reckon we would be instantly like have like the same patch as the Korean servers, so we'd have access to the, like the desert and all that. Yeah. Because what I've seen on the Korean map is, so you know how <coughs> to the right of Heidel, like if you go to the right of Heidel, there's that um like a guard post. Beyond that guard post, you can't go any further. 
on our servers, but on the Korean servers, you go past that guard post and it accesses to like the d desert, the black desert, <coughs> and there's loads of stuff over there, and there's like a little bit more of um, I think it was Eastern Bal Balianos, I don't know how you fucking pronounce it. But there's a bit more of that, and there's some more Calum Calf Calfion as well on the Korean servers, but like the the uh. <clears throat> the desert patch that they got doubled the map size that was currently in the game. Because I wow. saw the desert. The desert is fucking huge. And the desert actually has interesting mechanics that we don't have access to. So in the desert, you have to take water with you. Otherwise you die of dehydration in the daytime. And at night time you have to take like a hot drink with you. Otherwise you freeze. Because obviously desert to get really cold in the night. And on top of that, in the desert, there's random sandstorms. So you have to take, like, some kind of tent with you to, like, so you don't get knocked, at, like, taken out by the sandstorms as well. So it's like, the <laughs> desert's a really harsh place. Pardon me. So, what, you... I've played Black Desert for a lot longer than you, because I've been on the Korean servers back, back in the day. Because that's where I first... I saw it... On a channel, and I was like, oh, I want to try this. So I got onto the Korean service for a bit. Didn't play for very long on the Korean service because I couldn't really understand anything that was going on because it was, <laughs> yeah. you know, in Korean. So I didn't really get much accomplished. So I went back on, then just waited because I found out it was coming out pretty soon. So then I played it more, and I love the game. Like, I, I've talked about it in the Risk series so many times how it's. This game is just missing something that WoW you doesn't have. All the time I talk about it. Did you right. heal? Uh, sorry. Well, I can't click you, so no. There you go. Chits. And I talk about all the time how this game is just missing that that extra something that gives makes it different from WoW. Just, that just gives it an edge that makes you want to play when I'm not recording. This I don't know why this game doesn't have it, but Black Desert, it's finally the MMO. It's like I've played it and I'm like, yes, this is it. This is the MMO I want. Because the combat is... Well, the combat is just great. I love the combat. That's one of the, the things that has attracted me the most, is the combat in that game. The combat is just fantastic. It just feels... Yeah. A, the combat just feels alive. I think you actually need potions. <laughs> I don't. Potions are actually useful. I haven't really found too much I've struggled with, but then I'm playing the Tamer, and from what I can gather, the Tamer's a lot about dodging. Like most of my attacks move me. I like I don't really yeah. ever. You see me on the Tamer. I don't really ever stand still to attack like ever. I'm always like moving around. Yeah. Which makes it quite nice because I'm pretty good at dodging shit that way. Cause I'm never in the same spot because every pretty much every spell moves me into a new place. I'm playing on a source for so I remember she's she's quite mobile but also quite stationary at the same time. And obviously the wizard and the witch is probably the most stationary clash we've got to cast. But yeah, I I I love the Black Desert. It's it's like a perfect MMO for me. So what about you, Danny? What are your thoughts now? You you've been playing a week tomorrow. Or was it a week today? No, it's a week tomorrow because it came out on Thursday. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, so you've played pretty much for a week now. What are your, your thoughts on the game? It's pretty cool. Oh, I was kind of hoping for it. There bit. are... Um... A bit more in-depth, than it's pretty cool. Hey, help me, I'm being attacked. So am I. Yeah, well, I'm more important. Where'd you go? I'm down here, doing the quest. I'm over here doing the quest. Yeah, well, down here doing the quest is more fun. Not playing the tamer, <laughs> I have to stand still every once in a while. Which means I need healing potions. Kind of a lot more than I expected, actually. Ah! I used all the wrong thing! Save me! It ran away. Oh, cool. Did it, so do you re I mean, did that... It's but I think is that that's a good thing though, isn't it? That you're actually being challenged. Yeah, but like in a way, um, when I'm out of combat, I kind of don't regenerate anything. Well, that's like cool. anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> like at all? 
Meaning that even like before engaging in the combat, I might actually have to use potions because I'm low. Because I'm not regenerating. You should dodge more. <laughs> Do you think uh, that maybe... I'm still missing one. I've got shit. I've got a whole quest. Chase Nug Hoarders. Oh, shite. Is it... Is it my right? Wait, my right. A patrol is attacking me now. Uh, this kind of hurts. I don't know where you are. I'm trying to chase this dickhead. I'm being attacked by like four things as well. But do you reckon that you're you're being stationary it. because of whale though? Like you're not you're you're not moving around because you're so used to having to stand still in one spot on whale. Or is uh, that, well, I, yeah, that I, could be a thing. But like, I haven't played WoW in a long time. I've been playing. Help uh, me for fuck's stuff. sake! Because <laughs> I'm attacking I, you. Oh, that one. Fucking bloody blue dickhead over here! He's been chasing me for ages. <laughs> Because I know, I know, like, I like WoW. My, my concern now is will I be able to get back into WoW? Hopefully I will. But, yeah, WoW is very stationary. In comparison, yeah. Like, um, I'm trying to think of a class that doesn't stand still in WoW. And I, I, I'm, I'm clutching at straws. I mean, right. If you take out PvP. If you take out tactics from boss fights, do you ever need to move? Like, really? I mean, like, when you're out in the wild fighting Well, shit, no, not really. You just like, sort of stand still. That's you don't more, more in PvP. Out. In PvP, there are some classes that move around a lot. Hint, hint, okay. rogues. Hint, hint. Mage. <laughs> Blinking everywhere from what I've seen. Why are you chasing them? Because it's a quest. See? Okay. <laughs> That's fucking random. Okay. Why not? So, so, I mean, apart from your, like, only thought of being good, can we have some more detailed thoughts about what you think of BD? There are so many things to do. <laughs> yes. I was lying in bed last night, I was thinking... Are there that many things to do, or am I just thinking there's shit tons of things to do be you bastard! Stole my fuck! Oh, it's will get. Oh, never mind. <laughs> or is it just because we're so content starved in WoW? But like, this game has content. We're like, oh my god, this is what content is like. <laughs> we're just not used to having content because obviously, WoW. Well, that you, could that could be it. Yeah. You've got a Pexus daily, a Pexus daily, or a Pexus daily. Well, yeah, pretty much. That's all there is to do. Yeah. And then you come along to Black Desert and it's like, oh, you can, you know. It's like, in, in Black Desert, it feels like it is in-game content. Like, everything that you do, yeah. actually. It also, like, <clears throat> the world is alive. That is what I like. I think that's what I like most about it. Like, it's just alive. <clears throat> Not with players, but NPCs just do stuff. They don't just yeah. stand in the same place for fucking 11 years. They move. They go, oh, yeah, it's night time. Like, like, they go to bed at night and stuff. Yeah, it's like, I'm not here because it's night time kind of thing. And it's, they move around. They're not just stationary. Like, there was this one NPC who had a quest. And I was like, where's he gone? And he was fucking walking around a different part of the map. And I was like, holy shit. He's not in the same place. It's just, the yeah. world is alive. There are I, people. I, had a, I had a quest I had to turn in in Vilia. Yeah. Uh, the NPC had been replaced with a sign <laughs> saying that like, he'd gone to bed. <laughs> Tired but it's just nice that like the world is just alive with NPCs. That like there are NPCs just running from town to town. Yeah, they're like you can see it on the map. NPCs that are boating, NPCs that are trading, NPCs that are doing shit. Which... Yeah, but the thing is, because all of I think at least I think it's because that all of the NPCs are doing things all the time. The uh, quest helping system is worthless. Virtually, what? there's a quest helping like, system. Yeah, the, like the, the the thing that's supposed to like help you uh, figure out where the people are. Oh, what the um, the auto run? Yeah, the track thing. 
that doesn't work half the time. I don't. It shows you, it, sometimes I had a quest where I had uh, I picked up a quest in Velia, and then it showed me like five different places that the place could be, and all I had to go do was to go talk to a guy. Maybe you should read quest text. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it does not. Maybe you should just read quest text. Yeah, it said he was either at the market or uh, by the uh, city uh, uh, road entrance place. It uh, sure wasn't one of those like fine quests, though. It was like, oh, this person's done something to me. Go hunt him down. And he could be here, here, or here. <laughs> yeah. Because I had one of those, it was like, oh, this guy's stolen, like, one gold bar from me, go hunt him down. He's And it was like, check the rooftops of Elia, so I was, like, running around on the rooftops for about half an hour trying to find him. And yeah. because it's, like, sod's law, I ran around in every rooftop of Elia, apart from the one he was on. Like, several times I ran around this roof that he was on, and didn't realise he was on it, because I was just running around it in circles. Where the fuck is he? And eventually, like, I haven't been on this roof before, and I'm like, oh. He was up here the entire time. I've gone past his building like nine times. <laughs> the one thing I don't get is the quests that go, oh, help, I've lost my cat. And there are like 90 fucking cats on the roof. And I'm like, are you shitting me, girl? You have 90 cats? <laughs> yeah, that one's freakishly annoying. <laughs> it's like, why have you got so many cats? And why do I only need to rescue one of them when there's like 90 others? Yeah, I have to get a different cat each time, though. Oh, did you? Let's go. I've done that quest like four times. Why have you, how have you done that quest four times? <laughs> I've done it like once in Olivia and once in Velia. I've done it four times in Velia. I've, there was one in um, Heidel that wasn't a cat quest. It was a a kite quest. <laughs> it was like, get my kite from the rooftops. And there was like nine kites that I could see just from that one spot. And then there was the chicken one in Olivia as well. Get the chicken from the roof. And I'm like, why are your chickens on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did this happen to be Because, away? you know, logic. Oh, dear. Well, guys, I think we're going to call it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, Anna and Alicia. And until next time, take care. See you later. Bye.